Today, I want to very quickly show you how to prepare alcohol content standards to calibrate your rare combinations alcohol detector. You really don't need much to do this. All you need is some alcohol. Honestly, getting something cheap and plain from the liquor store is better than getting 100% ethanol because liquor is very precisely regulated. So if it says 49% like this bottle does, then they're probably really close to 49%. There are a few issues if you try getting 100% ethanol. You'll need a graduated cylinder. This is essential for precisely measuring the total volume that you're preparing. You'll need a glass pipette or similar measuring device that can accurately measure less than 10 milliliters. I do provide these with the new alcohol content detector. And finally, you'll need some plain distilled water. The idea here is simple. We want to dilute our ethanol, whatever alcohol you happen to have, to known low alcohol content values. Usually we'll be using 0.1%, 0.25, 0.5, 1%, and 2%. Those are typically used to make calibration curves. If you wanna see how to make the calibration curves, you can click the video card at the top of this video. We like to use distilled water here because there could be some contaminations in your tap water and this reduces the risk of anything potentially growing in your alcohol standards that you wanna save for later. That being said, it's a really good idea to keep your alcohol standards in a fridge. Alcohol standards are typically prepared in either 500 milliliter or one liter volumes. Preparing in these larger volumes prevents measuring error. If this math on the whiteboard scares you a little bit, that's completely fine. I have a calculator that I send out with every detector that's purchased. If you wanna see an overview of it and you don't purchase the detector, that's completely fine. Just shoot me an email here and I can send you the calibration file so that you can figure out what dilutions you need to do to your alcohol standards. It's really straightforward. If you wanna do the math yourself or you just want a quick refresher on how to do dilutions, this is really simple. It's C1 times V1 equals C2 times V2, where C is the concentration and V is the volume. In this case, we're saying that the one is our ethanol standard over here, the, the product that we're going to be diluting, and we're saying that the two is going to be our final product that we're trying to produce. We're using a 49% ethanol product. We don't know the volume that we want to use, so we're just gonna leave that as V1. We know our final alcohol percentage, we wanna aim for is 0.5%. This is just an example. You can later plug in 0 0.1, 0 0.25, or whatever alcohol standards you want to make. And we also know we want our final volume to be 500 milliliters. Again, 500 milliliters, one liter, even one gallon is typical for preparing these standards. We do a little bit of very simple algebra and we find that the volume of our ethanol that we wanna use is 5.1 milliliters. Looking at our glass pipette, again, this is provided with the purchase of the new alcohol content detector. You can see there's a two, a four, a six line. There's the five line. And these smaller line increments are 0 0.2 milliliter increments. So we want to go to the big middle line and then halfway to the next tiny line, and that will give us 5.1 milliliters. So we can take our graduated cylinder and our ethanol that we want to dilute, open this up, put our pipette in, and we're going to draw up 5.1 milliliters. So before I put it in the ethanol, I squeeze the bulb, and then I release the bulb as I put it in. So that's about at the 5.1 milliliter line. To prevent any ethanol from dripping out of the tube, I'm just gonna suck up a little extra air as I pull out so that no drops fall. So now I'm gonna put it into the graduated cylinder. You can't see very well on the camera, but I just put the 5.1 milliliters 
of the ethanol, the 49% ethanol into the graduated cylinder. And then I can add the distilled water. I'm gonna add this up to the 500 milliliter line. The final volume does not need to be as precise as the amount of ethanol that you add. The main thing that you want to very accurately measure is the ethanol that you're taking from the standard. This is the measurement that's going to matter the most. If you're off by even, you know, five milliliters in the graduated cylinder, it's not a big deal. If you're off by an equivalent amount in the ethanol, then it will be a very big deal. Yes, I do recommend using, you know, this glass pipette and the graduated cylinder to measure things as accurately as possible. But since you're preparing several standards, then a little bit of variation won't be as big of a deal. But that being said, the more accurately you measure these standards, the more accurate your calibration will be. So this step is very important. Now that we've prepared our standard, we could pour this into some sort of plastic or glass vessel, store it in the fridge, and we can use it for as many calibration runs as we want. So that's it. That's how you prepare your alcohol content standards. Again, very straightforward. If you want to learn more about the device or how to use the device, you can check out this YouTube channel. You can visit rarecombinations.com or you can shoot me an email at nick at rarecombinations.com. Thanks for watching.